Number 1. Arena. Pola's emblematic Roman amphitheater is one of the most complete in the world. It's not just that the three-story high arched walls and four towers around the perimeter are still standing. Pola's arena displays the incredible inner workings of a Roman amphitheater in vivid detail. You can see the underground passages used by gladiators and the cisterns that channeled perfumed water to the 20,000 spectators. Number 2. Forum. Just like in Roman times, Pola's Forum is the city's main square. So just as it would have witnessed important gatherings two millennia ago, whenever there's a big event you can be sure something will be happening in the Forum. During the summer there are concerts and other cultural events here, as well as big crowds if the Croatian national football team is taking part in the Euros or World Cup. Number 3. Arch of the Sergi. A slightly older Roman monument is this triumphal arch that was erected to commemorate the powerful Sergi family's participation in the pivotal Battle of Actium in France. It dates to about 30 BC and considering its great age is still in fine shape. When it was built the arch was a city gate leading up from the naval port. Number 4. Temple of Augustus. Unmissable on the Forum is the grand Tetra-style portico of yet another historic building that has been well looked after. The temple was built during the reign of Augustus, which makes it more than 2,000 years old. This temple has survived so well because it was converted into a church when the Romans adopted Christianity. Number 5. Archaeology Museum. The Temple of Augustus became the city's museum in the 1800s, but before long the city had more ancient heritage than it could display, and eventually this attraction was opened in 1925. Today the Archaeological Museum showcases finds from across the Istrian Peninsula, including busts, mosaics and ancient stone reliefs. Number 6. Church and Monastery of Ste. Francis. Located on the slope of the central hill leading up from the Forum, Pola's Franciscan Church is from the 1300s when this monastic order first arrived at the city. In the century that followed a monastery complex was constructed around it. With its tall, slimline windows and understated facade, the monastery is a classic piece of late Romanesque architecture. Number 7. Castel. Set atop the rise in the middle of Pola, Castel is a Venetian fortress from the 1600s. You'll notice that the powerful-looking walls are in a star configuration, which was a state-of-the-art design to repel artillery after the arrival of gunpowder. Castel was created to be the Venetians' main stronghold, defending Pola's harbor as well as the entire Upper Adriatic. Number 8. The Gate of Hercules. Although this landmark may seem modest, it's one of the earliest pieces of Roman heritage still standing in Pula. The arch has an eroded carving of Hercules, but you can also make out the names of two contemporary Roman officials, Gaius Cassius Longinus and Lucius Calpurnius Piso. Number 9. Small Roman Theatre. Complete your tour of Pula's Roman sites at this theatre on the hillside. These evocative ruins are described as small, because Pola's other, larger theatre was located outside the city walls. The small theatre is the only one of the pair to have survived and you'll get to walk along a large section of the tiered seating, as well as part of the stage and orchestra, where the ancient Greek or Roman chorus would sing and dance. Number 10. Pola Aquarium. With a dramatic home inside the Austro-Hungarian fortress Veradila, Pola's Aquarium is the largest in Croatia. The aquarium is a useful option for rainy days or the hottest afternoons in summer. Blending neatly with the fourth stone architecture are tanks with fresh water and marine species native to Croatia and the Adriatic, together with tropical displays, a turtle rescue center. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.